Hey guys, Ingrid here. Oh, big morning. I've been up since 3 a.m. I went back for a little nap and I'm getting ready to go out on a date with my man. It's uh, V Day here. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody in Australia and the USA tomorrow. I'm sending you so, so much love. Hey, Didier. I just wanted to have a quick chat. I was going to do this in my private CEO Deba Mind group. Uh, there's so many girls there up leveling, making a lot more money. Uh, one girl, Shireen's just done 30K in the last six weeks. Joanne just sold another eight and a half grand package. Um, Ninki did 16K. I was just going through my presentation for Friday and I said, oh, are you cool with this? Is this, is this true? Is this correct? Just, I get a lot of testimonials and it's hard to keep up with it all. Anyway, it's a good thing, right? Um, high-end diva problems <laughs> anyway so I just wanted to make sure that it was all correct and she's like oh actually Ingrid let me go and do the digits because it's actually more so she's done 16,000 uh, in five weeks since joining a diva mind which is awesome um, so the point was though that I wanted to say you can't rise into a completely new dimension with that kind of fight flight freak out vibration um, it's really really difficult so there was someone that was speaking to me where she just got this massive bill and, um, from a past, um, something from her past came back. So she started making all this money and she got this massive bill. And it's usually a test from life in the universe, right? To up the ante. And in those situations, you know, you might have an immediate reaction, oh, oh my God. But what you really need to do is ground your energy, go into the relaxation response, right? Which stimulates that feel good, those endorphins, the body is pumping, metabolizing, digesting and processing information and you feel better, right? And then you can process what to do and your brain functions better. Otherwise, most people are constantly in that state of, I see it so much of overwhelm. Um, I have to catch myself too when there's a lot of things to do and there's team members for me to manage and people like it's really being mindful about having fun and being in pleasure and really trusting ourselves. So in order to get to the next dimension to make a lot more money, you have to, even if your bank balance is really low, right? You can barely afford to pay for a latte or whatever it is or whatever is stressing you out about your finances. Um, you really need to like up the ante and turn up the dial on your abundance frequency and look at it almost like really with a sense of um, just curiosity and not take it so seriously in a way because literally you can change your financial situation by tomorrow. This afternoon you can get on a call with a client, you can get, go online and do a video and rock the shiz and sell a 10K program or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. You could decide, to, okay, this is the day that I'm going to get my funnel up and you completely change the course of your destiny and income within my husband's laughing at me he's like don't do a video <laughs> I've been working a lot the last few days getting things organized and I'm like okay I first stop but um I just wanted to share it with you because if you want to go to that next dimension it's not going to be the same vibration probably that you have right now that's going to take you to that next level right so for me whenever I'm wanting to go to a higher dimension my sense of connection and creatrix power and pleasure and hey gorgeous lily and alignment and love has got to be like it's just got to be at a whole other level for me hey gorgeous thanks for all the love for me to allow that next dimension in because it always starts with us right riches is not something that lives outside of us it's an energetic vibration that starts within you right so you've got to flush out all the stuff that's what i'm constantly doing all the time as i'm raising my vibration and channeling in uh, new content, new clients, um, speaking up more. I'm constantly releasing all the things. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, this is like a, a little jumpsuit actually. And it fits me, but it's really hard to get up. I'm like, fuck, I don't have time for this shit. I have to be able to put my clothes on pretty damn quickly. <laughs> it sort of like catches. So thank you, Lily. How are you, gorgeous? I, I'm loving seeing your new products come online, which is awesome. So... Um, yeah, I'm constantly releasing what I call the junking or trunk that doesn't match the next reality. And so you have to be aware of it. Okay, what is it that I need to release in order to receive my next 100K, my next 50K, my next 10K? What is it that I need to release if you are already making, say, 
20k a month consistently what is the next dimension for me it might be 50 so what do I need to release uh, in order to get to that next level what what is what is the embodiment that I need to claim for myself so for me it's always living as if I've already received it right because it has to become my energetic reality before it's a physical one so at the moment I have my diva mind and um, that's a thousand dollars a month it's worth more like 70k right and for a woman to come in it's more honoring of me to pitch them that dependent on sort of where they're at right but really the level of support that we get or they get is like incredible and so I know that even if they're it's really tight for people to invest you want to leap and really stretch yourself whether it's investing with some in someone like me and my programs or someone else right usually when I ever go into you know restriction like I've had some massive months like 100k months consistently and then I had a few months that were kind of lower quite a bit lower <laughs> Because I was spending so much more, I was spending a lot more money. I hired a new uh, assistant, a project manager. I was spending 10k uh, a month on ads. I mean, it just my expenses went through the roof. I pulled back a lot of my private coaching um, so I could reach more people. So I was shifting, restructuring my business. And I've known from my journey. So rather than go into panic mode and go, holy shibboli, what the, you know, which I did for a moment. I was like, really? Like, I'm working really hard here. Like, I've been in the business. I, make, I was making more money three months ago. Um, it was to do with this desire of restructuring and um, creating this space for me to uh, work with, like, a, you know, 100 people in my diva mind, right, in my mastermind program which is diva mind because we're divas right the holy divine um so it required lots of shifting and investment in my own business and also in my sanity because working uh back to back i was working back to back with private clients right great to be booked out but it was so much work and and i do tend to give a lot because i want people to get results and i actually give a shit right <laughs> which is awesome hey robin but then I was also running high in empire and then my mastermind and creating content and giving a high level of support there. The fact, we actually turned off our ads, our Facebook ads for six months because I could not um, really cope with having to, I couldn't do the sales calls anymore. We literally had no time. My husband didn't have time. We wanted to really make sure that we get, we really got people results, right? And it required so much. I said, so just turn it all off and let's just do a great job and then we can go to the next level. So now that's all been set, but there's always for me when I'm going through all these different stages in my business, a lot of up leveling, like, you know, only three or four weeks ago, I was literally almost bedridden with this ascension shiz that I was going through, right? And now I've come out of it on the other side and literally my whole reality, hi Lee, is different. We, um, Lee, we finally have the painful bonus for you today, which is these incredible neural rewiring programs that we've released. Oh my God. I, um, I partnered up with a divine friend of mine and we finally have that going on and um, I'll make sure some of you other ones of you who are in the diva mind get that too but you know I, I felt a bit nervous about always sometimes pitching the diva mind for people who are really struggling but then at the same time um, sorry I'm sort of going off on a tangent I have been up since 3 30 a.m. but at the same time sort of so I'm, I'm going into sort of a little bit of selling and fear and upper leveling with that it's like well I know that if they have that level of support from Chris and I and my team the probability of that woman getting out of that sense of poverty or that scarcity is going to be far greater so it's exciting it's really exciting so i just wanted to also be honest about the journey that i personally go on always to ascend in my relationships in my marriage um you know in, in myself physically you know because it can take a toll physically um the things that i'm doing to prepare for you guys um the people that are coming on thursday uh to seven figure diva and and the people in australia on the friday this week um what am i doing I'm going like on a date with my husband. I'm taking more time off. I did work a lot the last few days to get a lot more ads and things ready. Um, I've got testimonial videos coming and all sorts of stuff. And 
Um, I've got a, another little program offer that I've got for people who may be really, really, really tight. Um, so that's really exciting. So I did the copy for that <laughs> and I'm like, holy shiz. Okay, time girlfriend um, to stop and just go into surrender and let it all go. And then also um, make sure that my team is doing their job. I also don't do sales calls anymore. Just let you know why very rarely, maybe if it's like a big executive type or full on entrepreneur, I may um, have a little call with them. But mostly um, it's not because I'm precious or that I, I'm above speaking to people. I love speaking to people. But um, it's not that, it's just like I physically don't have the time. I don't have the time to uh, serve my students and my clients look to the future with future projections and the things that we need to do and new product development as well as getting on calls. So I now have four women uh, who work for me doing sales calls and that's awesome because I'm able to make sure that other people are taking care of that side of my business. I feel divinely supported. They're, they're doing well. They're prospering from it. They're growing. Um, and I, it's just a beautiful synergistic sort of synchronistic yummy sisterhood of me being able to support other people financially as well. Um, I'm really excited about this. I um, have quite a few people that I've given many, many referrals to who are doing like 15k 20k 30k months uh, a lot just through my referrals um, obviously they're showing up and doing the work and co-creating and you know like really on it and taking responsibility and delivering on their service um, that's been another wonderful benefit of getting my shit together <laughs> um, is the other people that prosper from from the work that I've done on myself and then you pay it forward not only with your clients but all the other people that you need to bring on and the people that you need to employ to support you and your team um, and so now I have all these other people that I have to or I want to refer on to support my girls in the deep and my like funnel builders and ad strategists and copywriters and all that and also the healers so lots of healing <laughs> is so needed in this journey anyway um, I'm sending you guys lots of love I'm gonna get my pedicure and then go on a date um, hey Lucy I'm about to leave go back and watch this if you can but the basically the whole crux of this message today was it's time for us to turn up the volume and to really release the fear uh, at a deeper deeper level where for me um, I literally almost physically feel weak and poisoned when I'm in scarcity overwhelm feeling like I'm not supported um, I'm in that do 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 push 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 kind of energy I literally my hey gorgeous my body my vibration physically energetically thank you gorgeous I've got good lighting here too it always helps um, shuts me down because when you make a vow which you so many people listening here you're all divine healers and mystics and I adore you all so you all know this but when sometimes it's good to hear it right when you've made a vow and you've decided I am rising, I'm gonna do this work, I am gonna be a million dollar diva or whatever it is, I'm gonna serve at my highest, I'm gonna leave sacrifice behind, I'm gonna uh, claim my sensuality, my sexuality and my voice. Everything that no longer serves you will leave or will come and slap you across the face almost, right? Or on the booty and be like, wake up, you wanted to, this to go, how are you going to respond to this, right? Because your whole energetic frequency won't tolerate it any longer. And so you will almost be bashed about because on some level you are dishonoring yourself because you've made a vow, you've made a sacred contract to yourself, to the universe, to the energy and to the frequency. So I often find when I'm rising up that the these examples of things that are out of alignment will come up uh, to test me to see how I will deal with it what vibration then do I bring to the table I get to the point now with literally I have to laugh and go oh my god okay thank you thank you for this lesson um, okay I got it and moving on I'm constantly in prayer I'm constantly hey gorgeous Tracy some beautiful faces that I've missed are on this call um, 
another thing quickly and I'll wrap it up, you know, like if you're having a challenge even in your relationship, in your marriage or um, with clients, all of that, seeing people, I think when I sometimes have gotten into lots of fear and panic mode, we can easily get into attack or overwhelm and feel just, oh my God, like you just can't handle it. But um, taking a deep breath and really just impressing forward the impression and the vibration of what you want to receive um, through, you know, whether, whether it's intimacy, sexuality, connection, money, love, um, I've started to really channel in and ask for to receive um, clients that are like full on into just wanting a strategy from me, like very deliberate women who just move, right? Um, and then like today I got a message from someone that I really, be I really admire who's an amazing entrepreneur um, and she's been sort of sussing me out for a while and today she came and gave me a message she says she's ready to go and um, that's because her vibration has shifted but also mine because I'm calling it in I'm calling in these specific very soulful femme relationships with other really fierce divas <laughs> And we've all got our own unique way of expressing that. Um, and you know what? It feels, I was showing this in my diva mind, um, this is deliberate. Like this, all the things that I attract into my life are very deliberate. My marriage has gone through a huge transformation over the last couple of months. And that has been really deliberate. Like I'm like, this is what I want. This is the type of intimacy. This is the type of love. This is the type of connection. I will not carry. I don't want to repeat myself. I just, um, it's, I want a sense of like a dance, like a playfulness. Um, you know, we've, I've done the hard yards. I've done the force. I've done the, I want to live with a sense of beauty, a sense of uh, joy, a sense of wonder um, instead of, you know, the trauma and the struggle. So I've, I've cultivated that. I've, I've, and really at the end of the day with all of my work, uh, and I will wrap this up, is just this, I want to say this, for all the, you know, all the things that we study and all the different healing that we do and about manifesting and then there's a strategy, all that kind of stuff, great. But really, <laughs> for me, at the end of the day, my biggest transformation comes down to honoring self and loving myself at a more deep, profound level, um, right? Where I can clearly express my needs without being pushy or demanding or aggressive because I just feel like I haven't been heard. It's more like an embodiment where I can be sort of fierce, but there's a part of it when there's nothing wrong with being fierce. It's wonderful. Um, I'm definitely that. Um, but I feel like when we embody it more, who, get, who gets this with me, right? When we embody more love for self, really honoring self, where we feel that we trust ourselves, that we own our voice, that we will be heard, um, that we will receive that desire, whether it's money, intimacy, all those things, more flow, health, radiance. Um, that relaxation response that I talked about, that sense of just surrender and allowing comes into place where I don't feel like I have to work so hard for it because I fully trust myself, right? And that I will receive. Um, so sometimes I feel that we're quite conditioned to think we won't get it. We won't get it. Uh, and it is so hard, right? Um, so what if, if we just loved and owned ourselves more? And we, like for me, like... I, my business and, and the impact that I'm making and the people, you know, that are showing up that are full of heart, like, I just decided that that is the way that it was going to be in my marriage. You know, my guy is amazing, but there was a lot of times where I was kind of overworking to compensate, um, for his stuff. And so he's had to go, whilst I'm working on myself, he's had to go and do a heck load of self-love work on himself. And that is required if you want to be in a relationship with me. Um, because otherwise, we're just going to outgrow each other, right? It is required. It's not a demand. It just is. It is required. 
If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna work on myself and look at myself, look at my flaws, look at my effed upness, look at my wounds, and take full responsibility for my stuff, everybody else needs to take full responsibility for their stuff. And I am fierce on that because I won't suffer for anyone right this is my new thing and there's no suffering there's no need if everyone is doing their own work and taking full responsibility otherwise it will fall away so rather than having to fight for that which i've done i've kind of had to fight for it i've had to scream i've yelled i've cried i've done all of that i won't do that anymore because it is so draining i won't fight to have my desires and my needs met. Who's hearing me on this, right? Uh, it just is, it just will be, otherwise it will fall away and I'm completely at peace with anything that falls away. That's my conviction and that has come down to me really feeling stable and strong in me and me having the ability to live my life with or without people like if people fall away they fall away right because I trust myself enough and I love myself enough that if people can't come to the party that's their choice I can't change them right I can't do it for them anyway guys I'm going to get this pedicure I'm sending you so much love and that's it for today blessings bye